Hello, hello, come on in. Put my headphones in. How are you doing? Are these working? They haven't done that. Boo! Noise. Let oh, hey, they did the noise. <laughs> so tonight is DIY tools. Here's Helen. I'll let her in. I've got my I've got a cup of tea. Very important. And pens that I have made myself. Hello, Katie. Hello, Helen. How are you doing? Hello. I'm doing very well, thank you. I've got a nice big bowl of crisps, a big cup of tea. Got all of my funny materials ready. Oh, look at those. That is, that's my favourite one, the cardboard with the jaggy bits. <laughs> We're in Here for I'm... a fun night. What we you? are. <laughs> I've got this flappy paper pen. Mm-hmm. Um, some staples. Oh yeah. <laughs> on, on, stuck to a paintbrush, um, and then loads of nibs stuck to a brush as well. Hey. <laughs> Multi oh, nibs. Everybody's joining. There's Margot Kent and Jane Sunbeam, Claire Davis Etheridge. Hey, Yay. hi everybody. I hope everybody's got their fancy DIY materials ready. Hello, Jill. Hello, Fitz Deluxe. I'll turn my camera yes. down so you can see mine. Hmm. I've also brought this very high-tech um, container for my ink. Love oh, that's it. good. Yeah, I've put um, just a few bits of ink and paint in the bottom of this old palette. And good I'll idea. try and dip things in that. This is yes. made from Jerry's old pants. <laughs> You've been using that already. Cheating. Cheating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I dipped it in my red ink to see if it would work properly or if the ink was too thin and I would get no colour, no, not much pigment. But actually, it's really good. Jerry's okay, we'll let, make an excellent art material. We'll let you off since it was purely for science. This is like a fake nib. I made a nib, like a oh. dip pen, but out of cardboard with a bit of sponge stuck down there. That's a brilliant brilliant idea. I've got a similar one. It's just a piece of rolled up card. Oh, but I yeah. thought it's got like ripped edges and stuff. It'll be interesting to see what that does. Is a feather a DIY material or not? I don't think Shakespeare would think so. Mm, right. Okay, I'll put it back in the feather pot over there then. Damn. It might, you might be allowed, though, like special exp expensation, <laughs> dispensation. <laughs> Making up words now. <laughs> Paper, stone, mm. scissors, more says love, upcycled old pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, I'm assuming no to the feather, I agree. No to the feather. Mm. Do you know, I think you're right. I think... I didn't technically make that feather. I didn't grow it on my body, so it's not. Tanya says yes, though, so Tanya. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. I think Tanya and Paper, Stone, Scissors need to fight to decide. The thing is, she's a soft touch, and she just says yes to everything, but I'm a stickler <laughs> for the rules. We can't let her away with that, even if it's me. If Jerry found out, there'd be hell of Oh, hell which crafty piece. said I have to modify the feather. Oh, yeah, oh, that's yes, true. Yes, quite right. If I stuck it... On the end. Oh, if it went into this little contraption here. Yeah, maybe. what is that? Is that like a roller that you've... Um... It's um, a coat hanger. I cut it up and then I used wow. an elastic band to stick a stick on the end of it. But it's quite wobbly. So I think if I try and draw with it, it's going to wobble around all over the place. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. One thing I'm sad I didn't get a chance to make was the piece of paper with a hole in it to sort of hide it. I might... I just... I'm just going to... Punch my hand through it. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So you can't see what's underneath where, where your pen is. Yeah, then it'll be like a double challenge. I've got this one, like a sponge oh. with bubble wrap on it, but actually, I haven't. That's I need gonna a be bigger cool. dish. I need a big dish of ink to dip it in. You need, you need a Lurpak tub. So you I need... do. It's exactly what I need. This is I'll straight from the through. tree. Yes. Un unadulterated. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice. I've got the fire on, got my little cup of tea, it's, and I've got my pens, everything. Oh, there's my dad. Hey, John boy. Hey. He's giving out John. his address. Who's he giving oh. his address to? <laughs> he's Don't probably you asking me for an Easter dad. egg. I think he's asking <laughs> for an Easter egg or something. Does he get Chucky <laughs> Friday? Helen's dad, do you get Chucky Friday? Because I've heard... Well, I, I think... My mum probably provides Chucky Friday for my dad. 
that's good to see. We did get another Chucky Friday delivery, by the way. It was very good. Yeah, do you think that's because we mentioned it? Because we could keep mentioning it if that's helping the yeah, Chucky Friday yeah. cause. It's about time I had another one. It's <laughs> <laughs> only right. Tanya's asking if that's my dad. Yeah. If there's anybody being annoying in the comments, Tanya, that'll be my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dad. <laughs> Narrative first it. thinks that my dad is asking everybody for an Easter egg and that's why he's giving out his address. <laughs> I wonder how many you'll get. <laughs> There's 128 people here, so if like 5% of people send your dad an Easter egg, it's going to get at least five. He'd be very happy. <laughs> and your mum says maybe Sunday. It's like a family, oh, yeah. family gathering. Yeah. This is brilliant. It's my my mum's probably not here. Yeah, where's your mum? Well, how's she doing on the Easter egg front? Yeah, <laughs> I think I might be officially too old for Easter eggs. Never. Sorry. Never. Yeah. I'm too old for an advent calendar, apparently, so... Come on, you're never too old for an advent calendar. That's what I've said to Helen, but she doesn't agree. I'm going to buy you an advent calendar. How can you be deprived of the fun of an <laughs> advent calendar? Baby Jesus would have wanted me to have one. He, he would, sure he would. Um, <laughs> while I remember, uh, yes. let's do a birthday shout out for Sophie Evans, who is Owl House Illustration. I wonder if she's here yet. It was, her, it birthday. was her birthday on the 20th. It was her birthday on the week that we took a break and we said, let's remember to give her a shout out the week after and then we forgot. But anyway, yeah, I hope oh, she's happy here. Birthday, this year. Owl House Sophie. Yeah. We hope you've made some pens. Yeah. Just seeing what everybody's there. doing. Yeah. So the plan is, oh, there's my dad saying lots and lots. I think he's demanding lots and lots of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. You tell them, John. Is he actually um, called John or is that just his name? John. Yeah, he's yeah, John. John. That was a good guess. Educated <laughs> guess. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I could be a, a detective. Hey, there's Owl House Illustration. She is here. Hooray. Yay. Happy birthday. Oh, I hope you had a good birthday, Sophie. Um... So tonight, in case you've not been to Art Club before, we set the timer for the, the very short intervals, like a two minute, a three minute, a five minute. We draw anything that's in front of you. I've brought this coffee pot. Oh, look at that. And um, a little willow pattern cup and a blue jar. Jasmine says, I forgot something to draw. Yes. Quick, gathering some stuff. I've done the same, Jasmine. Quick, got, go and get some stuff. I've got really excited about the pens and forgot how to draw things. So um, the rule is we're not making stuff up from our head. and We're very strict about this. You have to draw something in front of you. We'll hey. know if you haven't. Margot Kent's little boy, Soren, not so little. It's his 13th birthday on Sunday. Hey. Hey. Happy birthday on Sunday, Soren. Her boys often come to art club. It's brilliant. They're often here as a family. I love that. Oh, there's Winstagram. Hey. Oh, Instagram. Yay. Hello. <laughs> Pippa Alice is unboxing her Coraline draw doll to draw. Ooh. Cool. Oh, that would be nice to draw. I can draw things. There's things everywhere. There's things. I'll, I'll, I'll draw the things in my, in my room. Have you not got a model this week? No, it's... I don't know where he is. He wandered off. Okay. Should we set the timer? Set, set the timer. Should we do a short one to warm up? Mm. What should we do? Should we do a two minute? Yes. Two minutes is a good, good time. Okay. What material are you going to go for? Oh, I'm going to go for ink. I think I'm going to go all for this. I've got at home. I'm going to go for this stick thing. See how oh, I... did you mean pen? I'm I'm doing the mm. flappy one first. Mm. Has it got zigzaggy ends? Yeah, it's kind of like perforated dot, dotty bits. Nice. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. Right. Are you ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Go. On your back. Okay. Oh, my phone's being Yay. away. Right. Oh, this is very exciting. There's something in the air about birthdays because that was just an invite for somebody. <laughs> somebody talking about their daughter's birthday. <laughs> something in the air. 
just all the spring babies. Yeah. All well, the best people are born in spring. Are you a spring baby? I am. So am I. What date's the, your birthday? Uh, end of May. You're, you're April, aren't you? End of April, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's quite hard drawing with this. It's the elastic <laughs> band. It's making it really bouncy. and It's good, though. It's uncontrollable, and that's what we're looking for, isn't it? That's the, that's the magic thing, when you can't make it do what you want. It won't do what I want. This right, one's quite nice. Quick. It's like, you can do lots of different things with my flappy pen. The pants are almost too easy to draw with. Oh. It's, it's kind of just like holding a paintbrush. Nice though. Is it a bit like your toilet roll technique? Yeah, get a similar similar mark with it, yeah. Oh. My flappy pen's amazing. I think I'm going to patent it and sell it. Do it. Top ah. 11 seconds left. Oh no. I'm just enjoying myself. Yeah, <laughs> Forgot we had a timer. <laughs> it's good fun, isn't it? I'm really enjoying this funny pen thing. There we are. Time's up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pants like bingo dubber. Oh yeah, they would be like a bingo. Oh, they are. Good. They're like a bingo dabber. Yeah. So did you switch pens with this one? Yeah. The the um the red is with the pants and the blue <laughs> is with the bouncy elastic band stick thing. Oh, nice. I just stuck to one. I just only did flappy pen. But it's Ooh, very dark. That. But yeah, the clean. So it's the TV and the dog. I recognise no. the Wally dog. Yeah, <laughs> not a real dog, sadly. Put that over there. My brush has dispensed an insect. Oh no, Holly. Oh. Is, it a, is it a stick? A bit of a tree or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate it. You know when you have a pine cone and then earwigs come out of it? Oh, that was oh yeah. <laughs> not a fan. I used to live in a flat in Glasgow where... Um, we had, uh, oh, what to call them? They look like they look like they've got little armour. The insects with armour. Oh, yeah, they 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 woodlouse. Woodlouse, woodlouse, exactly. The whole flat was just riddled with woodlouse everywhere. Oh no! If you put your shoes down on the floor, when you put your shoes on in the morning, there were woodlice in there. Oh, and one day I, I woke up with a hangover, incredibly thirsty. You know where this is going. Really, really thirsty. Oh, no. There was a cold cup of tea beside my bed, and I picked it up and swigged it and spat out some wood lice. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> that must have been a lot of wood lice for them yeah, to be in your know. shoes and your cups of tea. I know, I don't know why, because the flat didn't seem very damp. I don't know. There were loads of them. It was horrible. We have them in our house, but I only ever find them when they're dead, so I don't mind. <laughs> As long as they're not alive. As long as they're not in your mouth, it's not too bad. Yeah, as long as they're not in my mouth or up my nose, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Diddles and Dink says that wood lice have gills. What? Really? That's quite funny. Maybe they were swimming in the tea then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. It was a pool party. <laughs> Apparently they taste like shrimp. Are you telling lies? Is that true? Have you been I, I didn't notice the shrimp kind of taste. <laughs> Why not, Helen? <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> I think I spat them out before I got any of the shrimpy flavour. <laughs> you just got a little <laughs> nibble and a mm, mm, shrimp. <laughs> uh, oh, Paper Stone says it's about to use a dried allium pokey thing. They look amazing, don't they? They're like yeah. Oh, they're thing. so beautiful, aren't they? Okay, timer four minutes. How does that sound? Four minutes. Marvellous. Okay, get ready, go. I'm using my multi-nib pen this time. Oh, look at that. Wow. It's like a <laughs> weapon. Oops. Right.
Mm. Oh no. What's happening? The tool is very bad. <laughs> is it is it not working? It's not. I just did a massive blob of ink and then nothing. Oh, How frustrating. I'll not be patenting and publishing this one. Oh, your your business idea is down the drain. It's been yeah, I've, only, it I've only got one <laughs> pen. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Oh, mm. come on, Stevens, you can do better than this. Oh, that's a serious word being hard. Yeah, yep. Ah, oh, Katie! What's happening, Helen? I don't know, I'm just not happy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I couldn't work on a, in a call centre for complaints. That must be like the oh, worst. Oh yeah, thing. must be hard. I would just be like, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I'm a bit happier now. You'll be glad to know. <laughs> that I'm, I'm relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked up my conifer bit on a stick and that is actually quite satisfying. Is that your fork one? No, but I'm going to try that now. My um, conifer. That fork. is amazing. Conifer, conifer fork, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't my joke. Somebody else said that. I thought that was brilliant. Oh, amazing. Conifer. <laughs> um... Okay, so that pen's rubbish. I'm going to try the staples. The staples? I hope they don't just scratch the paper. Oh, no. I hadn't thought about that. Well, they've got two sides, so I could use one really thick side. Uh -huh. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. I wonder why my dad wrote his address in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a mystery you we'll never know. <laughs> You're gonna have to phone him afterwards and be like, wait Maybe I that? should phone him now. <laughs> <laughs> Live on it on Art Club. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great, it'd be like a TV show when, or like on the radio when they phone people. <laughs> and you've got to answer answer the phone with a special word and then you win a prize. <laughs> <laughs> There used to be one of those competitions, actually it's probably still on, on Radio Borders, the best yeah. radio station ever, um, for hilarity. Yeah. And, they, and they, when I was a nanny, I was always driving children to nursery and stuff and listening to the radio, and they would advertise this competition. And I think it's been great. Oh, the timer, what? Timer, timer. Timer. Anyway, tell us your story. Uh, yeah, so this, the radio station, I think they brainwashed me because I was like, I never enter competitions, but then I was like, I'm going to enter this competition. And I kept entering this competition every day and would write, I would like write the answer on a post-it note and put it on the steering wheel in the car and <laughs> be really like, I'm going to win the competition. So yeah, that story is not related to anything. You never won though? I never won, no. What was the prize? It was different every day. It was like a, an amount of money and the number was really an obscure amount of money. Oh, like three pound twenty five. Yeah, and you had to remember it exactly and answer the phone in five oh. rings. Anyway, yeah, wow. it was in mine was a bit. I don't know. It's all right. Oh, nice and scratchy bits. Is that the conifolk that did the shadow? Yes. Yes. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. This is. I was. Oh dear. I put ink on the table. Don't tell Cameron. This, I was drawing, we've got a picture of birds. Oh, it's so dark in here, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. That looks good. Is that drawn with the staples? Uh, yeah, staples and multi-nib. That's good. Mm. Very nice. Staples. Oh, they're here. Yeah. Next, I'm going to try my rolled up bit of card for the next one. 
<laughs> feeling, feeling yeah, brave. Claire Davis Etheridge is saying we could run a competition and you could win a flappy pen and an Easter egg. Oh, yeah. yeah. People would be well yeah. into that. Win Jerry's old pants. Yeah. <laughs> I want to win them. <laughs> <laughs> I covered Jerry's old pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to tell you this because it's so funny. You're going to think I've made it up now because we're talking about you wanting Jerry's old pants. But when <laughs> Pi was about three, we were holding hands. It was about six o'clock in the morning and we were both awake. And we were walking up the stairs holding hands with her little tiny three-year-old hand in mine. And she said, Mommy, when I'm a grown-up, can I... <laughs> And Daddy doesn't want his pants anymore. Can I have them? <laughs> <laughs> That's an important question, Helen. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and have, you, have you reminded her? Does she still want yeah, them? Yeah, we remind her about it quite often. She's not interested <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's brilliant. Isn't it? What was going on in her brain? So <laughs> I love <funny>. toddler's brains. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Oh, dear. Right. <laughs> Shall I set the timer for a bit longer? Yeah, we'll do a longer one. What's it? 22 minutes past. This will probably be the one where we go into the zone. So Yeah. Shall we do a seven-minute one? See if we hit the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. That'll okay. take us to just about a zone time. Brilliant. Okay, on your marks, get set, go. Go. I feel like I should have more lights on, but it's also it's I've got a nice am Yeah, I've got a nice ambience. Yeah, it's getting dark as we speak. I'm gonna oh splashy ink everywhere, oh dear. Uh, it's really great this elastic band making this stick bouncy. That would be no so control. Little, no, so little control over where it's going to go. That's what great. you want. Yeah. Rolled up piece of card is very pleasing. Is it? Is it nice? Yeah. And you can put it on your, on its side to get different kind of marks and it sort of sucks up the ink a little bit. Ooh. I'd give it 7 out of 10. Oh, that's good. I had to rate it. Yeah, it's a very good rating. Oh, and it's got a little bit like running out pen. Um, oh, very well. pleasing. Mm hmm Oh, blimey. Is that a good blimey or a bad blimey? It's a, this is very hard to control and it's frustrating, but I think the results are nice. I think it's a good blimey. Mm. Good blimey. Mm. Oh. Now, the lights, clip. now the light's getting a bit dim. I wish I had my glasses on. My eyesight's terrible as it gets darker. Is that why mums are always like, oh, I'll put the light on if you're reading a book. Put the light on, you'll not be able to see. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <I'll never> <laughs> it looks the same. That's it. <laughs> it's exactly that. Well, Cameron's granny always asks if he wants the light on when he's looking at his phone because she doesn't understand that the phone lights up. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Cute. Yeah. Also, I'm not farting, it's a pen. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ooh. I'm trying this kind of flat ended cardboard thing. It's quite nice. It's like it's like a really good big giant calligraphy pen. Yeah, that's what I'm using. Oh, is yours the this is different, I can see it. It's cardboard Ooh, that with looks a very flat exciting. end. It's like a calligraphy pen. This nice. is mine, it's like a rolled up tube. Ooh. Nice. Somebody says garlic stalk is the best. Oh, that's a good oh. idea. I've got a garlic stalk in the cupboard. I might go and grab it. Yeah. We've got just over two minutes left. Oh, good. I'm doing a little light switch. Deep, deep concentration. I wish I'd brought slightly bigger paper now. Never mind. What size are you using? My... It's, oh, I don't know. It's a bit bigger than A4. Smaller than A3. Yeah, I usually use quite big paper. And this is all I had lying around tonight. It's a bit small. I'm on the newsprint again. Oh, nice. You can't beat newsprint, it's so lovely, isn't it? Yeah, and you can just blast through loads of it and not feel bad. Yeah. So, um, we've just finished teaching the latest round of our Fly Your Freak Flag, Find Your Creative Voice, Find Your Fleet Freak Flag course if I can say it properly um, so <laughs> we're going we're going to take a, a week off art club just to rest after the after teaching on the course aren't we and then when we come back yeah. we've decided to change up the times a bit over summer so it's not always going to be eight o'clock on a Friday but when we come back after next week we're going to do for the rest of April we'll do it at seven instead of eight and then after that, we're just going to play around and see what we fancy. It'll, before we know it, it'll be summer and we might do some at lunchtime. So um, if anybody's worried about missing it, then sign up for our newsletter. And then you'll always be told when it's going to happen and you won't miss it. Yes. I think it's going to be so fun to try different times. Yeah, it will be because we get messages all the time, don't we, from people who... For one reason or other, eight o'clock on a Friday doesn't suit. Um, and I think as the weather gets, as the as the lights, the nights are lighter, it'll be really nice to. People will be off out, won't they, when we're out of lockdown? It'll be only me and you here, won't it? So it'd be nice to do some <laughs> lunchtime ones. Yeah, after lockdown, everybody will be seeing real life people in person. Mm -hmm. They won't be on their phones doing <laughs> art club. Mm. Um, they didn't oh. go particularly well. There's bits that are nice. I like the blue bits, but the coffee pot's not very nice. It's all right. Exciting the colours. bits are nice. <laughs> Mine was a little bit like I overworked. <laughs> I went a bit mad. Oh, but I had it's fun. Your, it's your door. Brilliant. Very nice. Yeah. It's, those lots of you know when you're just playing around and making a mess like those squishes I was like oh if I was doing something moving or running that'd be really exciting to use that so mm. it was a happy accident as Bob Ross would say <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh okay Mr Ray says oh bummer lunchtime will be way too early here oh it will it's really hard yeah. though because we've always got people from different parts of the world 
doesn't suit everybody. Yeah, I think if we swap the times time. around a bit, it will land well for somebody at some point. Yeah, yeah, and there's yeah, there's like no perfect time for everyone, is there? Um, no. Paper Stone says this is where is your newsletter? Oh yeah, Tanya's got it. So if you go to the illustration dot com, and if you just go to that page and scroll to the very very bottom, there's like a little thing you can put your the details in, and then you get all the details of all the things. Yeah. Wow, Witchy Crafty says there was a 5pm art club once and it was light enough to draw outside. <gasps> that would be good. Yeah, it started at 5, didn't it? That was our original time. Did we? Did we do a yeah. 5? And then people with children were like, why are you doing it at 5? <laughs> My yeah. children are awake then and I can't join in. Yeah. The fidget yeah. mate says, please do still do some at 8 o'clock on Friday. Perfect for me getting the kids to bed. Yeah. Yeah. We will. We'll, we'll, we'll juggle still them. Do this as well. Yeah. Outside Art Club. That reminds me of the time you came to my garden, Helen. And then Tanya surprised us. Yeah, wasn't that brilliant? That was a that good was night. So good. Yeah. That was your birthday, I think, because I brought Kevin, not Kevin, um, Leonard. Oh, I think it was, yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, happy times. <laughs> Also, there was that week very early on where, um, for some reason, Instagram, we just met, did an art club on the Friday night and Instagram didn't save it for some reason. Yeah. So we got together on Saturday morning, didn't we? That and we was did good. A, it was a really quick, impromptu one, like a 20 minute one on Saturday morning. I really enjoyed that one. I did too, and we both like, hadn't, walk, hadn't long woken up. Oh. I feel like it was quite like maybe 10 or 11 that was a, yeah that was a really good one mm, it was oh that's a good idea Tanya Tanya says we should do a poll we did do that once and I remember it split exactly 50-50 <laughs> damn we were like this didn't help at all <laughs> <laughs> everybody has different feelings <laughs> pardon me <laughs> okay shall we what should we do now should we do a short one again? Yeah, short one would be good. Do the three, well, four minutes? Three, I was just thinking three minutes, yeah. Three minutes. Great minds. I'm going to okay. go in my tea nib. I'm going to move my coffee pot out of the way. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I might draw my sewing machine. I'm going to draw my tub. It's been okay. in the dishwasher, so it's all faded, but... That adds to its charm. <laughs> <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. Go. I'm just remembering what, you, what Frida asked, the uh, pie asked. Oh no, it was brilliant. <laughs> so oh dear. Oh god. I wonder <laughs> what, like, what was actually going on in her mind? Maybe it's she so... was wondering what, what, like, what do you do with the pants when they're finished? <laughs> with, yeah. Can I have them? <laughs> <laughs> I would like them. <laughs> so funny. Oh, this is interesting. People are saying what time it is where they are. So in California, it's lunchtime. Yeah. Um, somebody said it was half four. Pickwick Paper Art says, this is brilliant. So fun to watch you guys. So inspiring. Oh, oh. Thank you. Hope you're joining in too. It makes it even more fun then. 
Um, we're coming up to our one year anniversary of the Good Ship. I'm just going to look. I wrote down the dates today. What did I write? Oh, yeah. So the Ooh. 1st of May is when we launched the very first course. 1st of May. So exciting. Yeah. It's amazing. That year has just flown by. It has. So yes, in April and May, oh so May, yeah, April and May this year, we're going to be making two more courses. So also, if you want to hear about those, you've got to be on the newsletter so you get all the news about those things. Yeah, we're going to make a business course, so all about the business of working as an artist and an illustrator. And we're also going to do a picture book one. That's Those are the two things we have requests about all the time, don't we? Yeah, it's going to be so good because all three of us, so it's me, Helen and Tanya, who's in the comments, we're, we all work in such different areas of illustration. That means to, ooh, we can give insight for all the things. Are you carrying on, Helen? That's very naughty. Shh, nobody noticed. Okay, if I don't mention it, nobody will know. <laughs> The so thing yeah, is, the... Debbie, this is the time where the zone happens and I'm in it. So I didn't oh. even hear the alarm. If, did the alarm you know go off? I didn't even hear it. You're right, it's it's thirty seven minutes. So the zone yeah, is I'm just in. quickly drawing these delicious looking scissors. Nice. And then I'm, I'm trying finished. To do I promise. the Lurpak logo. We can add Lurpak to our logo um Oh fantastic. Repertoire. Another another one. I always feel like buying the big lure pack is really abundant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, I bought the big wow. lure pack this week. When I come home and Cameron's like, whoa, you bought the big lure pack. Like, oh, That's yeah. a sign of your success, Katie. That's what it is. <laughs> so I know I've made it. <laughs> I don't need a car or a house. I just need big lure pack. Big lure pack. Other butter is available. Katie, I'm showing you my drawing and you're just ignoring oh, sorry. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those Thank are delicious you. scissors. Yeah, that I was like the right response. Your sewing Thank machine you. doesn't have an outline as well. Very good. Oh, yeah, no outline. No outline. This is, I don't know, do you think this is good enough to be <laughs> one of our logos? It certainly is, yes. It's brilliant. We specialise in naive, naive logos. So we now have, what do we have? Maltesers? Maltesers. Oxo cubes. <laughs> Oxo cubes? Yeah. <laughs> um, what else do we have? Uh, Did you do Marmite? Mar Mar uh, maybe. Uh, Duraglit. Oh yeah, Duraglit. <laughs> <laughs> that classic brand. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't think of any other. Everybody t is telling me how well I'm doing. Oh, I feel like I'm getting lovely pats on the head. It's so nice. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> you can write all these down and keep them in a praise file. So if you're ever feeling <laughs> sad, <laughs> you can just read it and be like, it's great, Helen. Wow, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll feel better again straight away. I will. I feel amazing. <laughs> this one's good. Genius in three minutes. See? <laughs> That's to me. That was definitely to me. Was, I'll write it me. in my file. <laughs> Next time I wake up in the early hours of the morning with those existential worries and those those fears about the world, I'll get my file out. <laughs> oh, oh damn it. Good work, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Doubt be gone. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, I could record them into an audio file and then it would just be like... <laughs> So you don't have to look at a screen, and then you can just listen to me saying, oh, oh that would be amazing, because I'm trying not to look at screens, so that would be ideal. Yes, please. Oh, I was thinking. I, yeah. can you, I could loop it so that it lasts a few hours. <laughs> <if you needed. laughs> I fall asleep listening oh, to it, maybe. <laughs> that's the dream. That's the dream. Wow. I think I found a new business idea. Angela's oh, not joined, no. just down in New Zealand having breakfast and listening. Oh, oh, we should do breakfast art club. That'd be I would love there. that. That's my best yeah, time of too. day for so my brain working. Me too. Let's do it. Shall we do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. I've got some bolognese in my hair from dinner. <laughs> so that's not related. 
<laughs> okay, let's do a longer one, shall we? Yeah. Um, what about eight minutes? Eight minutes. Yes, I'm gonna. I want to do the Lurpak tub again. We've got unfinished business. James and Beam says yes. I hope that's mm-hmm. the breakfast art club. Yeah. Definitely. There'll be lots of people in different parts of the world who breakfast time will be a good time for them. Yeah. Mm. Which is going to draw Rice Krispies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I'll draw my chocolate porridge. We're addicted to chocolate porridge in our house. So we make a bowl of porridge, but we put cacao powder in it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's the best. That sounds so good. Are you ready? I'm ready. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. We're off. Okay. I've been on a porridge thing recently. Go through phases. What really do you have great. in your porridge? Or oh, so I really like when you have chopped up banana and you put it in the porridge when the porridge is still really hot, so then it kind of gets cooked. Oh yeah, nice. Really nice. And then a big blob of yogurt. And oh yeah. Some nuts and berries and yeah yeah, i go all out it's like gourmet porridge you can get all of the goodness that you need for the day in one bowl of porridge fill it up with seeds and nuts and everything yeah it's lovely that's the way to do it yeah and then you can just eat rubbish on the rest of the day because you've had all your goodness just chips for the rest of the day (laughs) <laughs> well, you need <laughs> chips and porridge done. <laughs> Nutrition. I bought this little um, uh, willow pattern cup, especially to draw at Art Club. I had a really a fun one? time. Yeah, I had a really fun time looking on eBay at loads of stuff to draw. I bought myself a new Playmobil man, my willow pattern cup. Are you saving the Playmobil man for another Art Club? He just hasn't arrived yet. The idea oh, okay. was I was I was going to draw him with the with this willow pattern because he's yellow and the willow pattern cup is blue and it just ah oh, that made me feel very excited the combination <laughs> so also the combination of a very beautiful old antique willow pattern cup with a very modern um, uh, Playmobil man I just thought oh I like that combination that's nice but yeah he yeah. hasn't arrived yet he'll be here. I was going to say next week, we've got a week off. Right. Well, it's even two weeks' time. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to wait that long. You can... Well, you can come and meet him, but you'll have to keep your distance from him. (laughs) (laughs) He's still socially distancing, I think. Well, that's very sensible of him. (laughs) He's he's not being vaccinated or whatever. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Because he's... He's not in his 50s, so he won't have had his vaccine yet, so <laughs> we, have to be, we have to be a bit careful. He's got a couple of months to wait yet. Yeah. Wow, that Lurpak tub. Oh, that's it's pleasing. I got a little glimpse of it there. Pleasing Lurpak. I work too fast, so I'm going to do another drawing. I'm using my bouncy elastic band stick on a coat hanger tool. Oh, it's so <laughs> pleasing. You get some really funny little jumpy lines from it. It's great. It looks brilliant. They're <laughs> wobbling around. I love it. It'd be make, good to make a giant one of these in the summer. That would be really fun. I would love to paint very, with a Very, very long stick on the end of it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That'd be so fun. CC89 says, will you be organising another Fly Your Freak Flag course? Yes, oh, yes, yes, we will. We will. We'll launch again. Don't know exactly when yet because we really want to make these other two courses. So we, there might, might be the summer, I think. 
yeah it's looking like summer sort of time and yeah. we're kind of rethinking how the calls are going to work and all that stuff so we're gonna we'll solidify it all before we give you the details yeah also the course is becoming massive we can't resist making more and more content for the course so we're thinking yeah. of sort of reorganizing it re like rejigging it within the platform so that it it you can watch it over a longer period because we've just got so excited adding films to it. It's massive now. <laughs> it's exploded. Every yeah. time we launch it, it's, it grows by a few videos. So yeah, it's yeah. Need to, it needs bigger, need a bigger, bigger house. <laughs> yeah. DC89 says, woo! That's good. We're hoping that the next time we launch to to give somebody a scholarship as well. So um, like a golden ticket for somebody who, I don't know, you know, you really skimp when you first graduate or, you know, life can make yeah. it very difficult to manage. So we are going to um, put something on the website where you can apply for a scholarship. Can't wait for that. And I've yeah. also thought, thought of something for if you've already done the course, we're going to offer um, a little exciting thing as well, but yeah, that's just that'll be very exciting. Yeah, it will. So it won't just be for new people; it'll be for if you're already a good ship crew, you'll be included as well. Yeah. I was so sad saying goodbye at the end of that call last night, Katie. I didn't want to leave yeah. really because. <laughs> It's so lovely for the last six weeks. We've met everybody every week and it's been so much fun. And then it was the last call last night before we launch again. And then obviously everybody can join us again. It's such a long gap before we see all those faces, but I'll have to hang out in the Facebook group and see what everybody's up to. Yeah, do it. And also yeah. it was so nice because we had Vivian, Viv French and Lucy yeah. Jukes who run picture yeah. hooks on the call last night and they had so much wisdom it was oh, brilliant it was such a treat wasn't it it was so yeah. lovely they've got so much knowledge and very generous sharing all their stuff yeah that was brilliant yeah and they were talking about their competition actually so yeah if you want to enter their competition it's on the picture hooks instagram after Art yeah instagram, that's right really yeah it's a spring it's a spring competition they did one in the winter and this is a similar one so i think there's I think, I think, am I right in saying that there are going to be four competitions and one is launched every week or every two weeks for the next few weeks? Oh. I think that. Mm. I'll, I'll, I, mean, I need I'll to go and have a look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Notorious bad listener. <laughs> okay. We've got 54 seconds left. 54 seconds? I'm mm -hmm. just faffing around now anyway. Are you? Yeah. My lines are very wobbly. You're not falling into noodling, are you? Because that's not allowed. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no noodling here. Mm -mm. What's, what's noodling? Messing about going over the same line a million times when it's unnecessary. <laughs> It's illegal. It is. <laughs> Jane, illegal Jane Sunbeam says, it was so inspiring last night and you've been such a huge part of the last year. Thank you so, so much, Tanya, Helen and Katie. Aww, Aww. You're welcome, Jane. Thanks, Jane. You are a real life sunbeam. Yeah, so. she really is. She is. She's lovely. Ah, there we are. Ah! Loud. Oh, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed that one. Me too. Are you ready for this lure pack? Go on, go on. Oh yeah. Woohoo! Perfect. Look at that lovely and then tight face. I drew um we've got a weird cabinet, so I drew that. No no it, it looks like a mouse in bed. It's a mouse <laughs> sleeping with its head back in bed. Oh, it Stripy it sheet and a duvet. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so I drew the mouse that we have that sleeps in our living room. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Where's mine? Oh, that mug. Can I see that mug in real life? Mm. It's, it's so it. sweet. It's really little. Oh my goodness. It's a little coal pot um, willow it's pattern. It's kissing on it. Oh. Oh, no, it's because of a tree. No, it hasn't. 
You no, it's just you with the dirty mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm just jealous of my dirty mugs. I am. <laughs> I'm going to try and find one with people kissing in the willow pattern now. Yes, <laughs> do it. So we've only got 10 minutes left. What? So time has flown do, as usual. Should we do a quick one and then 10 second animals? Yeah. Okay. Five minutes? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, five minutes will be good. Richie Crafty yeah. says, my favourite brush so far is a folded sage leaf. Ooh, yeah, tell us what your favourite DIY brush is so far. I haven't comments. tried my leafy brush yet. I wonder if I should give that a go now. It must be good if, if that's Holly's favourite. Mm. Mine's got too many tops on it, though. I might take a uh, couple off. That's the problem I had with the multi-nib. Yeah. The nibs get in the way. And it's I'm just gonna, normal nibs. I'm going to mess with it a bit. I'm going to... Uh, I've got down to one leaf now, and then I'm going to do what Holly said. I'm going to fold it in half and put masking tape around it, see if that makes it like a nib. That'd be nice. good. Christina's favourite is loo roll with fringes cut in it. Nice. Oh, oh. look at that. That mm -hmm. folded up leaf looks good, Helen. A yeah. bunch of twigs, short bunch of pine need needles, a piece of string in a stick. An old toothbrush is my favourite. I have a brush oh, made out good. of moss. An old pickaxe. Whoa. An old pickaxe? What? <laughs> I've got a pen. <laughs> Amazing. Um, oh, I can't wait to see the drawings made from that. Paper, stone, scissors. I'm going to look out for your drawings. An old pickaxe. <laughs> wow. Mine is a folded tea light metal bit. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah. A wishbone on a toothbrush. Oh, a wishbone. Clothes. Wow. T shirt and raffia bits. Oh, my goodness. There's so many good brushes. A carrot dabber, <laughs> dead geranium, Ooh, rubber grit paper. mug. Oh yeah, mat. rubber grit, yeah, non-slip mat, yeah. <laughs> a dead <laughs> dabber. These are wow. so good. I love it. Okay, I'll set the timer for five minutes. Are you okay. ready? Let's do it. Oh, I thought Jasmine there said an earwig on a stick, but she said an <laughs> earplug on a stick. Okay, we're off. Okay. So many good brushes, pens. Oh, the leaf is not good. I can report the leaf oh, no. is not good. No, not fan. I'm not happy. Abandon leaf, abandon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm persevering, but I'm not happy. It might work out in the end. Yeah. It might, but it won't. <laughs> you don't sound <laughs> convinced. You don't, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> like I've done a very satisfying globe with my flappy brush. Oh. Good old flappy. Oh, I'm giving up with the leaf. I'm not happy with the leaf. Stuff the leaf. Mm. Witchy crafty lied. <laughs> No good witchy crafty. My leaf is not very good. It's, maybe it's because yours wasn't a sage leaf. Yeah, it's a bit of conifer. Oh no, it's not. It's a bit of holly. It's sage. too. It's too scratchy. Yeah, because sage leaves are kind of fluffy, aren't they? Yeah. Maybe the leaf fluff traps the paint or something. Oh blimey! I'm not making any marks. <laughs> I'm struggling. Resist the urge to sing. Not like singing there. Go for it. No. <laughs> Aww. Forget anyone. Forget that we're doing art club. <laughs> what were you gonna sing? What would it be? <laughs> I think it was. A, I think it's a Drake song that I got stuck in my head. Very boring. Oh. Nothing. Nothing quirky, really. I've been using Spotify because it decides, it, it like pretends to know what you want to listen to, but you just end up listening yeah. to the same three songs forever. <laughs> it's like, here's what you will enjoy. And I'm like, mm, that's just the songs I listened to yesterday. <laughs> Oh, 
I've been listening to a podcast by a comedian who I think he's called Mike Wozniak. And oh, yeah. he's on Taskmaster at the moment. Do you know him? Uh, no. He looks like a geography teacher. He's got a big moustache. <laughs> Oh, he's really? on Taskmaster, and I'm, I really, really liked the cut of his jib on Taskmaster. So I thought, I've got to find out who this is. He's really interesting. So I looked it up, and he's got this podcast, and it's like a fake village newsletter full of all <laughs> of the petty arguments that people who oh, live in a little really? town would have. Oh, it's so funny. I'm completely addicted to it. <coughs> Brilliant. So it's like a parish newsletter, but they've lost the funding for it to be printed in printed form. And he's very resentful about this. <laughs> and, uh, well, so did he just make up all the stories and talks about it yeah. on his podcast? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. my God, that's brilliant. He also, he also says, if you're not from the village of, I can't remember where it's set now, what the village is called, but if you're not from whatever the village is, you have no business listening to this. Turn it off. <laughs> so good. Even better. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Love it. I'll find out what I'll find out what the name of the podcast is and I'll put it on my stories later because it's really funny. Oh. This pen is unpredictable. That's good. Is it unpredictable good? Uh, yeah. Making lots of random marks. My favourite tool of the whole night has been this coat hanger with the elastic band and stick on it. It's brilliant. Really like, I like it. I like the bounciness watching you use it. It's, it's really satisfying. Springing around. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, my goodness. What happened? What happened? And then and then he knocked the Lurpak tub of ink onto the carpet, and the carpet is, like, a speckly cream colour. Oh, my goodness. Is it just happened. a new carpet as well? No, but it's still... Oh. It, it would still have been killed. Right. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Death would have occurred. Uh-oh. Maybe he did excuse to buy a new carpet. <laughs> Maybe next week I'll spill it on purpose. Uh, I'm trying to do a typeface with my jumpy Wasn't stick. Ooh, that's funny. Right, how much time have we got left? Oh, Katie! How much time? I All think I've done my old trick of not pressing start. Oh no, I think it's, is it Look, nine o'clock? It's, oh, it's nearly, nearly nine, nine o'clock. <laughs> How did that happen? Beep, 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 beep. Oh, do you hear the timer? That's it going off. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Mm, that was good fun. I really enjoyed that one. Me too. Let's see. Ooh, nice scissors. Thank you. And stone, which is very pleasing, wobbliness. This is my, I got my globe. Oh, then, very nice. Ooh, painting of birds. Oh, yeah. Lovely, I like marks well. in that. I'll take better very photos nice. in the daylight. Flisty's asking if we are both left-handed, but we're not. For some reason, Instagram flips us round. Yeah. I think it's to, isn't it something like you don't mind as much how you look if it's flipped? Is that right? Yeah, because you used to see yourself in the mirror. Mm. So something like that. <laughs> Shall we do uh, the 10 second animal? We've let's got do time it. for one. Shall we? One 10 second animal. Do you want to think of an animal? Everybody we... put your animals in the comments. And, put your animals um, in. I'll set my timer for 10 seconds. And then... Um, We'll do this disastrous task again. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, axolotl. Oh, go. The first axolotl. one. 
Steve what? That's Nicholas the motto. Looked. Is that like? Oh god, this is going to be really embarrassing because I'm not even exactly sure what it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is that the end of the time? I'm, I'm not sure what one is, and it's. I've done something. <laughs> Oh no, what is it? It's like oh, yours little... looks a bit like mine. Oh yeah, maybe I wasn't yeah. too far. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I got obsessed with them when I was at college and that's all I drew was that colossals. I seem to remember Jerry going through a phase of drawing them. That's do they cute. change form? and Do they go through like a change of form, like a like a like a moth, like a caterpillar butterfly. Do they do, do wax a lot or do that? I'm not sure. I, th I think if the tails grow back, fall off, they grow back something. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. No, maybe. Oh. Well, thank you all for coming. How was it? It's like that the fastest hour ever. It was. It was so fast. Oh, thanks everybody. So we're not going to be here next week and the week after that we'll be here at seven o'clock. Yeah. And if you Brilliant. share your work, use the hashtag GoodShipIllo and tag us so we can share it on our story and admire your work. And also the mess is Art Club Aftermath. Yeah. Hashtag. Brilliant. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Katie. Bye, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs>